we're seeing huge capital flows into humanoid robots, embodied AI, and uh, automation across manufacturing, logistics, and even construction, correct? Exactly. In 2025 alone, US startups have raised nearly $2 billion for physical AI ventures. It's uh, like capital investors suddenly threw money at the idea that robots are not just um, sci-fi, but ready to work in our factories and uh, even on our streets. Mm -hmm. And what's really interesting is the diversity. You've got investments in industrial robots, but also um, consumer robotics. How do these different sectors really play out? Oh, absolutely. For instance, take Aptronic. They bagged around $403 million for their humanoid robots, like Apollo, which is aimed at industrial applications and logistics. Investors like Google, ARK Invest, and even Mercedes-Benz are behind them. It clearly shows that hardware yeah. is back. That's a huge signal. And then, Field AI raised $314 million, right? Their platform, sort of a software brain for industrial robots tackling risky or um, repetitive tasks. Exactly. Field AI is positioning itself as the operating system for industrial robots. It's almost um, like they're trying to streamline how robots make decisions on the fly, especially in environments where safety is um, critical. Right. And uh, then we see the bot company jumping back into consumer robotics with $150 million. Their um, home robotics are set to handle household chores, which is definitely a shift from factory floors to living rooms. Yep. It's almost like investor confidence is shifting. The notion that consumer robotics is not just a luxury, but a practical tool in modern mm -hmm. homes. I do wonder, though, though, the consumer segment can be um, more unpredictable. Don't you think that consumer robotics might face um, scalability issues compared to industrial applications? That's a fair challenge. Uh, while industrial robots have clearly defined tasks in controlled environments, consumer robots are um, stepping into dynamic and unpredictable settings. Still, the investment here shows uh, a strong belief the tech is maturing enough to handle that unpredictability. Right. Moving on, there's Neuralink which raised a whopping $650 million. That's the brain-computer interface work, correct? Yes, indeed. Neuralink is pushing the frontier by using surgical robots to implant chips that um, let patients control robotic prosthetics and other devices with thought. This isn't just physical AI. It's merging yeah. uh, mind and machine. That is wild. But, you know, isn't there a bit of risk there? I mean, fiddling with brain interfaces? Um, sure, it's audacious and not without controversy. But the massive $650 million round led by ARK Invest and others signals that, yes, investors see a huge potential, not only in medical applications, but in expanding the boundaries of embodied AI. Mm -hmm. And then there's skilled AI with its $135 million, aiming to build what they call the GPT for robots. That's a uh, pretty interesting analogy, don't you think? Definitely. It's like... Um, they're trying to create a general purpose brain that'll control a variety of robots across both consumer and commercial sectors, with heavy hitters like SoftBank, NVIDIA, and Samsung on board. Right. I love that concept. A sort of universal control system for robotics. And speaking of brains, Genesis AI secured $105 million to develop robotics foundation models, trained on synthetic data from their own physics simulation engine. Exactly. It's like training an LLM for robots. These foundation models could be the key to powering general purpose robotics that can adapt across different tasks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blending physical systems with AI learning at scale really seems visionary. But there's also a logistical twist, right? I recall Coco Robotics raised $80 million for um, expanding their sidewalk delivery robots. Right you are. Coco Robotics has already completed over half a million deliveries. Their funding, backed by investors like Sam Altman and um, Ryan Graves, is fueling growth in AI-powered logistics. Yeah. That kind of scale, especially with partnerships with Uber Eats and DoorDash, is um, really emblematic of how quickly AI is being adopted in everyday services. For sure. And then there's Raise Robotics, which might have secured a more modest $7.75 million seed round but it's a big deal for construction automation. They're addressing hazardous tasks on building sites with robotic systems. Right. Construction has been notoriously under-automated. It's exciting to think robots could soon um, make these tasks safer. 
Absolutely, and not to forget Fort Robotics, which extended its Series B by about $18.9 million. They focus on um, safety, implementing systems like wireless emergency stops and motion locks to ensure safe human-machine collaborations. Mm -hmm. Safety really is becoming the cornerstone as we integrate these robots into our daily lives. Right, so when you add these up, it's nearly $2 billion fresh capital fueling physical AI in the US. This is a strong vote of confidence that um, embodied AI systems are at the ready for real-world, large-scale deployment. Yeah, it sounds like manufacturing, logistics, construction and even consumer technology are in this mix. But don't you think this heavy investment might also carry excessive risk if um, scalability or regulatory issues pop up? I get where you're coming from. Sure, there are risks and um, uncertainties, but the mix of heavyweight investors, Google, ARK, SoftBank, and others, suggests that there's a long-term vision here. It's like um, a calculated risk that the market is ready to absorb. Right. And from a broader perspective, it signals a historic pivot in tech investment from um, pure software solutions toward uh, tangible embodied systems that interact with the real world. Exactly. This money isn't just backing um, ideas on paper. It's fueling innovations that are starting to uh, redefine industries, be it on factory floors, in our homes, or on city streets. Mm -hmm. What really fascinates me is how this infusion of capital might spur further integration between physical and digital systems. I mean, we're on the verge of an um, all-encompassing shift in how we interact with technology, aren't we? Absolutely. It's almost like we're witnessing the birth of a new industrial era, one where artificial intelligence is not just on a screen, but embedded in every physical apparatus around us. Yeah, indeed. However, I do sometimes wonder about the societal implications, um, job displacement and the like. What's your take on that? That's a valid um, concern. While automation naturally shifts job roles, the idea here is augmentation rather than pure replacement. It's more about reallocating tasks to reduce risk and enhance efficiency. But yes, there's bound to be um, a transitional period with its challenges. Mm -hmm. It's a complex balance, innovation versus impact on the workforce. However, it seems um, the significant capital pouring in is a strong endorsement on the technical side. For sure. And it's that kind of forward thinking investment that will um, ultimately redefine how we approach manufacturing, logistics, and even daily consumer tasks. Yeah. So overall, this wave of nearly $2 billion in funding really sets the stage for physical AI to become um, a transformative force across multiple sectors. Absolutely. It's a pivotal moment. With investors betting big on embodied AI, we're looking at a future where robots and um, smart physical systems become integral parts of how we work and live. Exactly.